I oh, did, on the camera, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this is Mark Yates, the pre Northampton at home. Mark, last weekend we, un we understood Cheltenham had inquired about Steve McLean. Now we understand he's not coming. What's made the decision up for you? I haven't... Uh, to be fair, I've, I've, I've been umming and ahhing and, and what money I've got off the chairman, I've got to spend wisely. I haven't decided where I'm going with it yet. I haven't... Um, I haven't done any, anything about it right as, right now. I'm just got to make sure what money I sp like I said what money I spend I spend it wisely. Um, if anything happens, I'll let you know. Okay. Um, international week this week. Obviously, you've had a couple of players away. How much do you stay in touch with Luke and Jack about how they're doing? And also, I suppose a bit like an expectant parent, just hoping they'll be all right and come through. Okay, without yeah, any injury. Yeah, I've spoke to I spoke to both of. Um, I spoke to both on on Monday, Tuesday, and and, and then Jack yesterday, and um, I haven't I haven't made contact with Jack, but I'm, I, from what I can gather, I think he spoke to Steve. He's okay. Um, you know, they both did well. Uh, I had a somebody go down to the to the um, nine, 19s game to have a look for me. I, I couldn't make it myself. I went went somewhere else. Um, listen, they they're a big part of what we're trying to do here at the moment, and have been a big part for this season. Um, and they you know they get their recognition internationally um, for their age groups and, and and you know it's it's a great privilege for for a club like us to have our boys going away and you know playing in international football so it's it's great great experience for them and you know it will, it will benefit them and it will also you know boost the profile of our club for a little while as well new experience for you though as a manager having to sort of deal with them being away yeah but it's not a problem we've we've tried to get the balance right between recovery and um, and work this week so, and we think we've we think we've got it right. They're back in today for a nice sharp session. Um, you know, as you can see, the the, the, the we're, tr we're trying to sharpen them up, keep them fresh, and um, you know, hopefully that'll be the case. It's uh, there was a reserve game on Tuesday that was was really beneficial to everybody. We managed to get 90 minutes into a lot of boys um, who haven't played as much as football as we would have liked. So we, we've had a good week, um, and now it's back to work. The day off yesterday, back to work to make sure. Um, we're right for the next challenge, which is Northampton. Seven points from your last three games. That's still promotion form, and I suppose it reinforces the point you said to me that the point against Wimbledon was a good point. Yeah, absolutely. I, and I, I stand by that now. Um, we wanted to win. We want to win every game. and We want to beat Northampton. We want to beat Morecambe. We want to beat Swindon. Every three points is, is valuable. Every three points is precious. Um, every point is precious. And, and we've just got to keep picking up points, not worry about anybody else. Just concentrate on ourselves, and, and we, we do that here. And uh, if we keep doing that and keep doing it as well as we're doing it, things will go in our in our favour. Obviously, Northampton struggling at what they consider to be the wrong end of the table. Yep. Last time you played a team like that, it was Dagenham, and yep. you beat them five 0 I mean, yep. we won't be beating Northampton five 0 um, You know, Eddie Boothroyd's a top-class manager, um, and to have him down at, in League Two, he's it's brilliant for Northampton. We've got a proper manager on their hands, but it's it just shows the quality that is filtering down to to lower divisions in terms of managers and in terms of players as well. So um, you know he knows the time of day. He's very very aware tactically. Um, knows what he wants out of players, and, and I know he'll turn it around there. It's going to be a tough game for us. They're big, strong. They've got some some quality. Just haven't quite worked for them this season, but I'm sure. You know, him, Andy King, Tim Flowers, Sean Parrish will be working working extremely hard. You know, I know how hard AD works and, and I'm, I'm sure they'll be all right, but they're going to give us problems on Saturday. Problems we have to try and overcome again, you know. Um, you, know you have to adapt to other teams, you have to be able to handle what they throw at you and um, and, and play your own football. And, and on the whole, we've, we've done that and, and we'll have to do it again on Saturday. When you're playing against a team from the bottom, how important is the first goal? Because if it goes against them, then that can obviously affect their confidence. I think it's important, f full stop. You know, I think it, you know, I see stats in the programmes and stuff that you know, when we score first, we we tend not to lose. You know, I think we had one defeat when we when we scored first, and um, it, it's massive. I always say goals change games. It changes players' attitudes. It changes the mindset of supporters. It changes the mindset of managers and. And it can give you a boost. It can it can also kick you in the teeth. So, um, and we've been fortunate that we've been scoring goals 
at good times. We've been fortunate we've been scoring first goals in a lot of games, and, and it is important. But that said, it, it can't be it can't be a prerequisite that if you don't score that first one, you don't win your game. And, and we have proved to come back a few times, and uh, and we'll need that resilience and need that that strength of character between now and the end of the season on, on a number of occasions. You also haven't been conceding many of late. Yeah. Three clean sheets since Steve Elliott came back in. Yeah. Is that coincidence? No, of course it's not. But um, uh, it's, just, it's just we've got we, we're just getting back to doing things properly, and not that we, you know we weren't quite at it. You know we had a little spell where you know we, we lost lost a couple of games, lost goals that we were disappointed with, perhaps, but no one's fault. But you know we, we've we've worked at it. You know the boys have worked extremely hard. Um, over the last few weeks to, to correct one or two things and and it's it's paying dividends. Injuries, how's the squad? Everyone's okay. Um, Keith Lowe's got a um, a bit of a bit of flu but I think sort of the end of that I think he, he, he struggled on Tuesday in the reserve game like in terms of, of himself. Um, hopefully he'll be back in tomorrow and ready to go. Great stuff, apart from that we're fine. Good luck. Okay, said it's quite rare for Shelton to have two international players Away and what's the key to getting in this sort of quality of loan player? Because you've obviously unearthed two gems there this season. Yeah, we have. We, we, sometimes it's a bit of luck. Sometimes it's myself, Neil, more my staff. We try and we keep an eye out. You know, you, you know, shout about what we do, and you know, we go to lots of games and and, and, and know, build up a database of, of players. And, and sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you know, you, a lot of hard work pays dividends. Um, they're players that. We're lucky to have. We're delighted to have. We're honoured to have, and, and we, you know, we we thank both of their clubs because they've been a big part of what we're doing. Um, but also, we're helping them. You know, they know we try and do things properly. They know how we work. They know how hard we work. They know that the boys, for their future developments, will benefit massively from coming here. And um, you know, we've been lucky with with all our loans so far. You know, Jimmy's been excellent for us. Um, and, and obviously Jack and, and 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 Garbs have had their little bit of recognition with with, with the international call-ups that they get, um, and it's you know for the next couple of years it's it's the way you've got to keep going. And after that you've got to when this new rule comes in, then if it comes in, then then we'll have to address it. But you know it's if you can get it right, the loan market can be can be beneficial, and I think it has been this year. Yeah, and obviously being very careful with the, what money you have got left to spend. Have you, yeah. Do you think whether it's McLean or somebody else, there, there will be somebody coming in? Yeah, there will be. I've just, I've, I've now, you know, I know what I've got, and, and I've got to make sure what I get now is exactly what I need. You know, I made a tentative inquiry about about the boy at, at Yeovil, um, and just to see what cost it would be, and and I haven't been able to go back and and say yes, I can do it right at this moment in time. So you know, it's not. No school dugger on anyone's part. I've just, you know, we haven't. Um, I'm just making sure what it looks like. What, what I spend is, is spent wisely. Yeah, the, the chairman said that you and Neil are quite close to agreeing new deals. Can you tell us how far down the line you are with that? And whether you it should be, yeah, it's all agreed. It's just yeah. um, getting the paperwork done. Yeah, so that'll be a decent length of stay. I mean, Ten managers years, these yeah. days Ten are years, yeah. <laughs> come and go so quickly, don't they? They've already been yeah. here for over two years. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah we, we we love it here. We you know we're working really hard. We work we're working with people. We're working really hard behind the scenes, um, and everything's in place hopefully to move the club forward. You know, we, it's been a decent season. We want to make sure we finish that off properly. Our, 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 it, you know, our, it, our, our priority is the football. Um, you know, all, all the things that go on behind the scenes in terms of contracts and stuff. Um, it's literally just with with legal people now just sorting out the paperwork and, and stuff like that but it's all agreed um, you know we, we want to bring more success to the football club and you know it's not just me and Neil it's everybody you know my physios my my coaching staff my everybody is working extremely hard and, and hopefully it's getting us some rewards and um, you know that that's our priority not not football but once we get that sorted hopefully we can Move on to one or two players as and, as and when over the next couple of months. Yeah, and you mentioned Eddie Booth and the quality of manager that's now feeling in Durham. Does that drive you on? Yeah, you're, you're here testing yeah. yourself against people. It's a like challenge. It's a, it's a challenge to, you know, I've known Eddie for five, six years um, uh, as, as a, in some sort of capacity. He lives near me. Um, he keeps threatening to play me at tennis and uh, give me a thrashing, but it's not quite happened yet. But he's he's got. He got Watford into the Premier League on 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 
next to nothing. Um, and he's, he's a top quality coach and um, I know he'll pull them round. It's just taken a little bit more time than I think he would like. Um, but it just shows some of the managers that, that, are, that are in this division and some of the players as well. You know, people like Jack Button playing under 21 in football. It's, it's, it's a coup for the league and it's a coup for the league having people like A.D. Boothroyd. Yeah, and Jack probably isn't that far down the pecking order for bringing in first team squad at the moment, is he? We're looking at the <laughs> amount of English goalkeepers there at the top level. It's a bit, uh, it's not for me to comment on that. He's, he's a quality keeper. Birmingham know they've got a quality keeper on their hands. A lot of clubs know that he's a quality keeper. Um, the England set up certainly know, you know, as an 18 year old playing under 21 football. Um, is that a dearth of talent or is that just Jack's ability? It's, a, you know, it's certainly Jack's ability, but, you know, is there anything else pushing? Pushing Joe Hart, you know, I don't know. I don't see these keepers work day in day out, but I know, I do know one thing that Jack's got enormous quality and enormous potential to to be anything that he wants to be. You know, I've, I think he's got nine clean sheets in 14 for us. Um, I, I didn't see the game last night, but I've, I've got told he made a couple of good saves at the right time, like he does for an 18-year-old boy. He's, he's so level-headed, he's so focused, and. Um, you know, when you're four 0 up and can still pull off saves, like we saw Saturday, one 0 up, made a, a great save to his left hand side when, when needed, and and that's that's a massive thing for goalkeepers. Cheers, mate.